اللہ فضل بعض کو اللہ آباد ان فرزق اینڈ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ از فیورڈ سم اوور ادرس ان دی پروویژنس آف دس ورلڈ سم ون ہی ایز میڈ رچ سم ون پور ٹو سم ون ہی ایز گیون پلنٹی اینڈ سم ون یو نو ہیز ویری میگر اینڈ جسٹ سفیشنٹ ٹو میک میک فلفل دی نیڈس تو اللہ فضل آباد کو اللہ آباد ان فرزق فمل دین فدل براد دی رزق ہم علامہ ملکت مان ہوں سو دوز ہو آر مور فیورڈ بائی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ہو آر رچ دے ڈونٹ گیو اپ دیئر بلانگنگس ٹو دی پیپل ہو آر دے سلیوس ٹو دیم دیر آر سلیوس آلسو ہی از اے ماسٹر ہی از اے چیفٹن ہی از لاٹ آف ویلتھ بٹ ہی ایز سلیوس آلسو سرونٹس میں بھی but nobody is going to make them partners in the in the wealth that he possesses famal ladina fudlu bi radi rizqihim ala ma malakat amanuhum fa hum fihi sawa so that they become equal af bi ni'matillah yajhadu so do they want to belie the bounty of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now this actually denotes to shirk Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has all the authority. The angels, the saints, the prophets, all are his servants. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluhu. He is a bondsman. All the angels are obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ta'ala cannot distribute his authority to others. He has all the authority in his own hand. Just as you don't, you know, distribute your wealth to your servants or to your slaves. In this way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to distribute his authority. The authority is with him. Al-Aziz, he is. Wallahu ja'ala lakum min anfusikum azwajan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has appointed for you from your own selves the same species your spouses now man and woman the same species homo sapiens is in the same way he got and she got species is the same wallahu ja'ala lakum min anfusikum azwajan wa ja'ala lakum min azwajikum and then he has given you from your wives banina wa hafada sons and grandsons wa razaqakum min at-tayyibat and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you very Provided with you good things. Afa bil baatil ayu minun aba binay matillahi hum yakfurun. So now, if they believe in falsehood and they are denying the bounties and blessings of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, ma yabudun min dun Allah ma la yamleku lakum lahum rizqa min al-samawat wa al-ard shayin wa la yastatiyoon. And they are worshiping those, leaving Allah. They are worshiping those who don't have any authority. neither in the heavens nor in the earth and they cannot provide them with anything wala yastati'un they don't have the authority what can these idols do what can the saints you know the dead saints do for you allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does everything for you but you are leaving allah you are calling them you are praying to them you are invoke, invoking them fala tadribu lillah al So don't strike similitudes for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah is unique. Nothing is like him. So you cannot have a similitude with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No simile can be used. Inna Allah ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamun. Verily Allah knows and you don't know. You know not. Zarab Allahu masalan abdam mamlukan. La yaqdiru ala shayin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is striking a similitude. of a person who is a slave to a person and he has no authority over anything and on the other hand there is the person wa man razaqnahu mimma rizqan hasana whom we have given so many things you know good things huwa huwa yunfiqu minhu sirran wa alaniya and he is spending from his wealth openly and secretly one is a slave he owns nothing He cannot give a penny to any beggar because nothing belongs to him. The other is a person, a free person, 
a free individual. He has wealth. He can give to whomever he likes. Can they be equal? Hal yastaboon? Can they be equal? Alhamdulillah, balaksarhum la yaalaboon. All praise be to Allah, but most of them know not. Because these idols or those deities, false deities which they are worshipping, they have no authority. They can't give anything to anybody. It's only Allah who can give you whatever you require, whatever you pray for. And Allah strikes another similitude of two persons. A person having two slaves. One of those, those two slaves is dumb. We can't speak. He cannot do anything. He doesn't have the capability of doing any work. And he is himself a burden over his master. The master has to feed him. While he can't earn anything for the master, can't do any service for the master. So he's a burden. It's a liability for his master. Wherever he sends the master, sends the servant, the slave, he doesn't come back with some good. Nothing. He, he performs no act. Can he be equal to the other person, other slave, who commands justice, who say do justice, and he is on the right path. Now this is the similitude of two individuals. Both accept Allah as their Lord. But one is dumb. He is not doing anything good. He is not forbidding people from bad, evil. He is not persuading people towards the right path. He is not calling, you know, the creation, creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the right path. And the other one is, well, he can speak, he can address people, he can call them to the right path. So in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this person, although both are the slaves, and both have accepted Allah as their Lord, but this person is much high in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is doing all these things. And verily it is for Allah, all things, you know, all the unseen of the heavens and the earth belongs to Allah. And the matter of the Qiyamah is just like the twinkling of an eye. Sa'ah, Sa'ah, the doomsday, when all this creation will be disturbed, all people will die. That is Sa'ah. One is Qiyamah and one is Sa'a. These two words are different. Qiyamah is the day of resurrection. They will be revived from the death, resurrected from the dead, and they will be standing looking towards God, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Faiza yanzurun. But Sa'a is the doomsday. When you know these mountains will move, and everything will die. So that is sa'ah. The matter of this sa'ah, this doomsday, is just like the twinkling of an eye. Because, and a command of Allah, kun, and it will happen. Without any time involved in it. Maybe it's nearer than even that. In Allah ala kulli shayin qadir, verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has all the power, he can do everything.